What happened once you pulled into the Shell station? When we pulled into the parking lot here, he made the turn. I pulled in behind him. There's a set of gas pumps, and then there's the actual building itself. He drove straight as if he was going to pull in the parking spots here, and then he made a left-hand turn and cut between the gas station building and the two parked cars that were at the gas pumps. So you didn't make the turn in the Crown Victoria? Due to the size of the Crown Victoria, I, was unable to, I wouldn't have been able to fit through there without having to reverse and turn multiple times to squeeze through there. The thought started to cross my mind that either this vehicle was not going to stop and that it might possibly try to be evading or fleeing from me. There's a barricade, so you had to squeeze between the barricade and the curb. More or less started from right there where you squeeze and accelerated straight almost down the middle of the center dividing line of what would have been the normal lane of travel if it would have been open. And the street was completely packed from curb line to curb line with people. And it made no effort to slow down, it made no effort to brake. And you can hear them, you can, I could hear him accelerating as he was pushing through the crowd, running them over. As I'm looking out the window, which are down, I can hear the sounds of flesh getting hit by metal, which is an undescribable sound. As I'm looking down there, all I see are people flying what appears to be 30, 20, 30, 40 feet in the air, just being hit. And I can hear the vehicle, the suspect vehicle, accelerating as it's doing it. Then I observe the vehicle broadside the car and be redirected up into the northwest curb into a parking lot where it struck a parked van and came to rest right there. As I'm turning around, I'm looking out the window, I can see the suspect laid back in the back across the center of the console and he's kicking the, back, the driver's side door which is wedged shut from the collision that he just had. He's kicking it repeatedly trying to get it out. As he's kicking the door, I'm exiting my vehicle and start to yell commands. He's get, got the door open wide enough to squeeze out, makes eye contact with me and then takes off running. As soon as the five second cycle of my initial taser deployment stopped, he attempted to get up, so I had to deploy another cycle of the taser. As soon as we took him into custody, I ensured he had no weapons on him. We got him up and we walked him to my vehicle, which was stopped on Red River still. We very quickly removed the taser prongs and completely performed a search and put him in the back of my vehicle for his safety and our safety.